All right. Well, after a long period of time having my having my speedometer off, um, I'm finally changing my speedo gear so I can get an accurate reading on my speedometer. Um, it's more off since I went to the 32, a 32 inch tire, which is is uh, reasonable, um, and it was expected. Um, when I had th my stock gear ratio is 355s, and uh, when I had 31s, I was about seven percent off. Um, I don't know when I'm off now. I haven't calculated it, but I know I'm more off, which also is expected. I will pop up two charts on the screen. I don't know, up here, down here, somewhere. Um, that will give you a, a guide on what gear you need. Um, and I'll also put a link in the description to Quadratech's website. They have the just, just a quick, convenient place um, to get the charts um, and you can get part numbers I didn't order off Quadratech I ended up ordering off uh, eBay or actually I ordered off Amazon um, I ordered off I ordered them off Amazon but I got the part numbers um, and all the gear ratio for the tooth that I needed um, the gear uh, tooth count um, it's just a quick easy place for it so I'll put that link in, link in the description but um, I needed a 31 tooth gear which is green there's the part number. That's for a 355 with a 32 inch tire. And because mine is a 2000, that is a short gear. The short gears are 93 to 06. And the long gears are, are 55 to 93. So I'm guessing 93 is a crossover year. So if you have a 93, you need to double check to see if you have a short gear or a, or a long gear. And what I mean is the shaft. A long shaft or a short shaft. Mine's uh, the short shaft. And then here's the O-ring, which is for any of them, 55 to 06. Now this, these is pretty simple. Um, you just go down under there, and I'll show you in a second. Uh, remove one bolt, and the whole thing should pop out. And then, if I remember correctly, this just pulls out. If I, if I'm thinking right, this just pulls out of the uh, piece. So. Uh, uh, I'll be back in a second and show you what you need to do. Alrighty, here's the Speedo gear. Uh, at least for 2000, the later models look slightly different. Uh, and if you have a 242 versus a 231, those are also going to look slightly different. Um, so there's the connector right there, which has a red lock tab on it. Thank you, a screwdriver. Pull the red lock out, and you should be able to push the clip down and take it out. <clears throat> After you pull the clip out, it's held in by this uh, wishbone, horseshoe, whatever you want to call it, uh, clip. Uh, and it looks like it's, it's on the connector on the sensor with uh, two lines. Looks like there's two slits in it, so you shouldn't be able to get it in wrong. But uh, that bolt's a half inch. I'm going to go ahead and take that out and pull the assembly out. Alright, if this is your first time pulling one out, it's probably going to be a bit difficult. Just uh, I just grabbed hold of it with both hands and just kind of wiggled it up and down a couple times. It looks like mine was RTV'd in there. It looks like I see some gray RTV. Um, you shouldn't need that. Um, also, this is clockable. You can clock it in different directions. There's actually... A slit here, a slit here, and then a slit here, and a slit here. So, uh, depending on which gear set you get, you might have to clock it in a different direction. Go ahead and pull this out. And there it is. This is green. But it shouldn't be 31. This one is... Nope, this is 34. Right there on the back, it says 34. This is a 34 tooth gear. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this over and I'll show you it. Alrighty. <clears throat> Here's the clip I was telling you about. It's got two fangs on it. There's a tab here. And there's a tab here that it was on from the factory, but there's also a tab here and a tab here. That's so you can clock it for uh I think different gears you need the different uh 
basically like you're setting a pinion, uh, a pinion gear, um, for like a differential, <clears throat> but I think this just pulls straight out, yep, just pulls straight out, like that, like I said, there's a 34, 34 tooth gear, hoping all this is bright enough, might not be, but, 34, right there, at the bottom, and just pull straight out, and again, I'll go over the tabs again in case you didn't see it, the factory, it was in this one, and this one, <clears throat> like the old O-ring, This one's not completely hard, but it's a good idea to go ahead and replace it. The new O-ring. Go ahead, before you put it in, uh, go ahead and put some transmission fluid on it, because that's what the uh, transfer case should take, is transmission fluid. I'll do that before I put it back in. I think I have some, I should have some around here somewhere. <clears throat> Here's the gear, and you can actually see the difference in size. So, because it's a difference in size, I'm probably not going to be able to put this back in the way I took it out. I'm most likely going to have to clock it. And you see, this is offset to one side. This is offset more towards this side, where the sensor is. So you're going to have to experiment for this gear to get it to mesh with the uh, output shaft correctly. Um, I'm not going to be able to put this back in the way I took it out, because this gear is quite a bit smaller. And you can see by the size. It's quite a bit smaller. So... <clears throat> so, I'm going to have to experiment with where I put it in there. From the factory, it was like this. I'm probably going to spin it up to where it's like this. I'm, wh whichever way it went in, I'm going to clock it one way clockwise to see to get it to mesh better with the uh, output shaft. So, uh, yeah, depending on which gear you get. This does rotate to mesh with the output shaft correctly. So, I'm going to go ahead and put some transmission fluid on this. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to the Jeep. And I'm going to figure out where I need to stick it in. You're not going to be able to see much. But, the factory... Yeah, I'm going to be right in the way of the light. The factory went in straight like this with my factory gear set I'm not going to be able to do that because of the splines I'm going to jack up one of the uh, jack up one of the rear wheels so I can uh, spin this uh, drive shaft around
some fiddling that you saw some of I got it in and it's reading I ended up having to rotate it uh, this plug was right here so I rotated it one click clockwise yeah that should be right one click uh, clockwise in order to get the small gear to mesh still need to go take it for a drive make sure it's working a hundred percent but uh, yeah, I mean, I tried it in all the other directions. I couldn't get it. Uh, finally, I went to this one, and I could get it to uh, finally read. Uh, you just have to get it in the right spot that it's preloading on the uh, on the on that output shaft gear. There's a gear on the output shaft that it's got to mesh with, uh, which is why this is adjustable for the different sized gears for the different tooth gears. Uh, but yeah, uh, probably need to top this off. It's got fluid coming out of here, so it should be fine. It's pumping. Uh, but yeah, one thing to do is uh, jack one wheel up, shift the, either the transfer case or the transmission into neutral, so you can get this, uh, get it close, and then spin this, uh, spin the drive shaft as you're pushing it in. That way it'll mesh. But uh, let me show you what it looks like uh, inside. I got the driver rear wheel, rear wheel jacked up. Yeah, all I got left to do is uh, push that red lock tab in and uh, get my GPS back up on the dash and uh, see if it's actually working. seems to uh, work good um, there is there is still some it's about one or two miles an hour slow on the low range it seems but uh, you got to think I'm 355 gears and these tires aren't a tr these tires are not a true 32 uh, they're like a 31 and a half or something so you're gonna get slightly 
different readings for different things. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, you'd have to have a, you'd have to have an accurate, 100% accurate tire size to the inch to, um, you know, to make it perfect. Um, so, you know, different tire sizes, different 32s are going to act different, different 33s with the 33 gear is going to act different, but, uh, I'm happy with it. it. It's not, I used to be going 40 and I'm actually going, and I was actually going about 45 to 48. So one or two miles an hour off is a hundred percent better than what it was. I mean, I, I would, I would go 70 and I'd be going about 70, I'd be going almost 80. So, um, yeah. Um, that is that, and, uh, I will talk to y'all guys, talk to you guys later. Bye.